There is an island in a corner of Scandinavia that is unaffected by the rising cost of fuel. The reason for that is visible from the sea. Dotted around the landscape are 11 wind turbines that produce all the electricity the Danish island of Samsø needs. Moens Mahler is a farmer on Samsø. He grows raspberries and strawberries. Eight years ago, he borrowed $1 million to build his own turbine. He's just finished paying off the debt. And now, not only does he get his electricity for free, but he makes a profit by selling what he doesn't use. If you don't take a chance, then you never win. And now maybe we win and the price will go up and we will earn more money. But if we haven't taken the chance at that time putting it up, then we have never had the possibility. Although Moens has grown used to these modern-day windmills, they do stand out. The turbines are around 50 meters tall and we climbed eight ladders to get to the top. But their output justifies the size. Each one produces around 2 million kilowatt hours a year. That's enough electricity to power 600 households. This turbine is owned by just one farmer, but many of the other ones are owned by cooperatives. And that means that the people of Samsø don't just get their electricity from turbines, they also have a vested interest in them. And it's not just electricity. 60% of the island's heating comes from renewable sources, like straw and wood chip. And although cars still run on petrol, some farmers have started to power their tractors with vegetable oil, which they extract from rapeseed. Whatever oil is left, they use as salad dressing. It's not bad. Samsø is only 114 square kilometers with a population of just over 4,000. And Denmark is a wealthy country that prioritizes the environment. But in these times of rising fuel prices, climate change and energy-related diplomatic tensions, the question is whether Samsø's example could be followed by the rest of the world. We have to, to think in decentralized units where we look at what resources is nearby so we don't have to transport energy from one end of, of the world to the other. Uh, the moment the Russians think that now we have to change the gas prices, they, 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 they can change the whole Western part of Europe in, in, in one second. I think that's very vulnerable. And I think we, we should start thinking in smaller units where we can supply our own region. The islanders on Samsø have been harnessing the strong winds for hundreds of years. And they seem confident that the rest of the world will, sooner or later, choose to follow in their footsteps. Because if it doesn't, it may soon not have a choice at all. Barbara Serra, Al Jazeera, the island of Samsø, Denmark.